Hello everyone, and welcome to Three Random Games. Now this is a format I've seen several other YouTubers do, notably, I mean many others do it, but notably for me, uh, Mr. Craven, John Wolf, and 8 Ryan have all done the format a fair bit. And I, I watch them a fair bit. I'm saying fair bit a lot. Anyways, um, don't know how often we'll do it. Felt appropriate for Spooktober to get a little shotgun of uh, short indie experiences. So I have three games picked out today, none of which very long. Uh, they all say about 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, obviously I will edit it down so that it's not a three hour video, but we'll see how it goes. First up we have Prison Alone, which um, it is described as a psychological horror game with no jump scares. Uh, no corpses or dead bodies or seeing people dying. But there's plenty of reason to feel fear, it says. So, let's not waste any more time and get into it. Uh, all I read about the, the actual ooh, description of the game uh, was that there's some sort of like prison transfer going on, uh, but you bribed a guard to stay behind and be left there. Because uh, there's something we want to find out. Some sort of mystery to be solved. Okay, we're in. Uh, oh, letters and documents. We will have to see about getting those all. There isn't a, a guide I can pull up, so we're just going to have to see if we can't 100% it ourselves. I don't really know what buttons are. Eh. Figure it out as we go. Uh, right click is a pause though, so that's something to keep in mind. Inmates, please note conversation conversatinos to be of a private nature, only in spoken in English. Do not discuss prison matters, no articles to be passed through the fence. Okay. I feel like I would totally like to get in there. But I can't seem to interact with anything yet. I can get in here though. Ease to pick up. After flashlight. Okay. Same thing? Yes, Commerce noise. Oh. That was not like that a moment ago. Can I run? I can't run. That was our cell. Oh, we're gonna get on the other side of that at some point. It almost kinda looked like there was a, a person against it. Alright, yeah, let's go into the bloody cell. What's up? No, you're just, just bloody to be bloody? Okay. Oh, right, key. Yes, I saw that. There was definitely not blood in there before. Am I leaving bloody footprints? I am not. That's where I got the flashlight. Oh, no. I'm writing because I need help. There are people vanishing out of prison. I don't know what their scheme is. Everyone says they don't know anything either. But someone is lying. Whatever the scheme is, you need to put me in it, man. I can't be locked here for more for more seven years. Seven more years, I'm assuming. Figure it out who is behind this and tell me what I need to do to get me in. Okay. That was letter one. There's no crouch button that I can tell, by the way. I guess this key opens this. Oh, that is dark. Okay, and the door shut. Can I go back in? I cannot. Alright, well there's an upstairs. Let's not go up there yet. I would like to get in there if I can. Ah, need a code. Okay. We will get in there shortly then. No worries, no worries. Wet floor! Oh boy! These doors are locked. 
I guess we're going through cells again. Looking forward to open walls. I love how some prisoners get two shelves and some get one. Those are the deluxe prison cells, you see. Alright, nothing in any of those. Looks like there's something maybe on that cart there. Stop, do not enter until instructed by officer. Push bar to open, but we don't feel like it. That's the yard exit. Oh, is the camera following? No. Okay. A spot of tea left out for us. Okay. Someone had a bit of an accident. Okay, so we've done a full circle around there. I guess let's check this side, and then the only other spot, I guess, is to go upstairs. There's totally a note up in there, so maybe at some point we'll, um, we'll open all of the cells. This door has been left open, but I don't think we can go through. Fire blanket used for smothering fires, suitable for chip pan fires, waste bin fires, deep fat fires. Suitable for wrapping around someone whose clothes are burning. Cool. I don't think I can get through here. No inmates allowed without staff supervision. But there ain't no staff. You're to supervise me, that Spooked me. Oh, handcuffs. What the hell was that? It's like it happened the second I turned around, too. Yeah, I, I, I do wish we had a run button. But I think all we have left to do is go upstairs. I know when we first came out of the of our cell area, there was one dark corridor I didn't go down. So maybe do that quick. I do wish there was a run button, just to make traversal a little bit quicker. We walk fairly slowly. Uh, my map. No, it's down here, yeah? No, this, this is where I came from. Okay. No, I'm definitely just going in circles. Let's go upstairs, then. Oh, there's a third floor. Alright, we'll do a quick sweep, but I'm pretty sure we have to, like, hit and open all the doors button. Somewhere. Ooh, a note. Take those. Honey, I've been thinking. I want to go to law school when I get out of here. Is this a crazy idea? Will I be able to work as a lawyer with my background? I don't know, but I wish I could change my life and help others on the way. Do you think it would be possible? I believe in you. It was letter 16, oh Jesus. Okay. Oh, hello, spot of blood. How's it hanging? Honestly, there's a lot of blood in places that there really shouldn't be, my goodness. My impression was that this was a fully functioning prison before, uh, the transfer. Hello? I mean, yes, I see the little figurine there, and... This looks like trading cards, and a album, and a mug. But I do not know what made that sound. If you do not live on any of the upper tiers, you are out of bounds if you use these stairs. Removal of this notice will be considered destruction of state property, and disciplinary action will follow. Okay, let's finish the second floor then, before we move on to the third. Someone bled over that meal. 
It is not sanitary, I'm sorry to say. I'm also wondering exactly how in danger we even are. If there's no jump... I mean, there could still be monsters without there being jump scares. They just, you know, don't jump scare us. Well, this is above where we were. <clears throat> and apparently we're not going to see any bodies. Just a lot of blood. Okay, and this is where I came over. So let's let's go up these stairs now. And see what we're dealing with on the third floor that are officially out of bounds. Thank goodness for I'm assuming whoever we bribed that left us this flashlight. That almost sounds like it could be like a train squealing on the tracks, but, you know, it also just sounds like a very unpleasant individual. I'd like to get over there if we can. the hell was that? You say there's no jump scares. Audio... Audio is a jump scare too, my guy. And this, we've already done this circle. Where's that even coming from? Also, it is criminally dark on this top floor. Some of these uh, shrieks are reminding me of um, my recent Subnautica playthrough. As a lot of the creatures will emit some pretty unpleasant sounds when they see you. In particular, that shrieking is reminding me of the little bitey guys, like little piranhas. Oh! Okay, I saw that. Has it been doing that every time? It was around the corner. Am I, am I, am I like being hunted? Is that a thing? Is it actively roaming or are these planned scares, so to speak? So we've been everywhere. I'm not sure how we're meant to get through that door. And I haven't seen any codes or anything. Guess we're gonna go back down. Four digit. If I really want to, I could always brute force it. We move so slow. Maybe it, um. Maybe it's about that one we saw the cards and the dude in. Oh god, where was that? The second floor, I think? I think that was the second floor, yeah. Alright, let's head back up then. 
Just make sure I can't do anything through here. I see the handcuffs. No. No. Okay. Okay. I mean, I tell you what, Bobby. It's going to be real easy to edit out. Oh, it's this one over here, isn't it? Yes, okay. So... Is there any clues I can draw? D18. Not really. Yeah, this is the other side of where we started. That was our cell. Hi, me. Keep away, officer armed. Get permission to approach fence. Well, I haven't been over this side. This is the little dark spot I mentioned earlier. Seriously, sounded like a train whistle. What? Is it the chairs? That are no longer there. Wait, what the hell? Okay, there were chairs there. Okay. I mean, it's definitely got me, you know, tense. And we know there's something in here. I wish I knew what all the sounds were, though. Still closed, eh? Yeah. Alright, I might have to uh, go pull up someone else's playthrough to see what the heck I'm doing. Oh, I am so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. You'll see why in a sec. Where's the nearest staircase? Oh, it might be randomized. There's a note. Ah, here it is, yep. Deliver dinner to the security guard in the surveillance room. The code enter is 2234, and it's randomized each time. Okay, so the location is randomized, and the code is randomized. That's good to know. Literally a minute into the guy's playthrough of his hour and ten minute long video. I swear I looked at all the trays, but I must have missed that. Toot toot, three, four. Cool. Can I shut that door? I can't. We're gonna see something... I'm assuming we saw something there, but I didn't see it. But I knew there'd be something when I turned around. Oh, okay, let's maybe not do that yet. Totally looks like notes I should be able to read. Transfer confirmed! Amount... It's about wrong. 150 Bitcoin? This must be who we bribed. Okay. Does that show up? No. Okay, nothing else to do in here but flick these. At least the door is on every floor. Let's -a go. As annoying as it is, I'm going to do another sweep of uh Uh-huh. Okay. Well, as annoying as it is, I'm going to do another sweep of all the cells. I will cut back if anything uh happens or we find anything. So, you know, more of that, I I assume. I'll have to go in each one, too. I 
swear there's more of these here than there were. Oh, here's one. Dear family, I miss you, love you, thank you for the cooking in the last box, they were the best thing I ate this week, kisses. Oh, and that's open now. Okay, like, everything is open. We'll remember that. <clears throat> oh, dumpster time again. Hello, Dumpster Dan. You gone? You are. Interestingly, it was... These two. Both did the dumpsters. The first on each side next to the station. Oh, hello. Christian, you son of a bitch! Did you lost your goddamned... Damn it, mine to write to me calling me my little flower. You stabbed my brother three times in the chest over a shitty card game. All I want is for you to get fucked in jail, crazy piece of shit, get over me. I see. Some people clearly need to be in here. Hello? Guys, the basketball championship here is awesome. I swear this place is better than the NBA. Our team from Block C could face the Lakers, man. They should be professionals. It's crazy. There's a little guy here who doesn't miss a single shot. If I didn't see him, I wouldn't believe. They're even trying to transfer him to Block D to see if it makes things even, because it's way too easy for us. I see. We were in, like, the maximum security area almost. Oh, I can go this way, too. I don't want to do that yet. So we were like in the maximum security area of uh, of this floor, which is interesting. Alright, upstairs we go. Hello. Brother, I still can't believe that judge gave me this sentence, what a son of a bitch. The guy was mocking me and I had to stand there and do nothing? I should have shot him in the head. Since when shooting a motherfucker in the shoulder, uh, it, it, since when is, no, no, just since when shooting a, is attempted murder. How ridiculous that is. And they even said I was drunk. Bro, what the fuck? I'm going to run away from here. I don't even know how, but you bet I'll get out of here. Okay. Oh, it's this one. These look like Hearthstone cards or something. They're definitely playing cards of some kind. That's a doggo. And a cup. I really can't read that, but perhaps it's the, the devs logo. What number is this? D18. Maybe, uh... It's a reference to the developers. Farmando XP, maybe? Oh, hello. My little flower, I write this letter with a lump in my throat. I know you're upset with me. I made a mistake. I went too far as always. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for everything I did. But please talk to me. Let me explain what happened. You are everything to me. I love you, my little flower, Chris. Uh, yeah, ooh, hello, I missed this originally. Brother, remember when we watched all those prison movies, like The Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, in the movies, it's much better. Not that this is the nightmare we imagined it would be, but unlike the movies here, I know the chances of having a happy ending are much smaller. Oh, shoot, don't tell me I've missed some of those out on the sides here. I, uh, I don't know if we're gonna get all collectibles, and... I don't want to spend three hours recording the first part of today's episode, so I'm not going to try too, too hard. He says as he does his second, technical second, full consecutive sweep of the D-blocks, not even the other areas. Shh, don't worry about it. 
Okay, time to go up once more to the spooky floor. Now there was also a fourth switch I hit, which I'm wondering if that was the um the switch for everywhere else. Like I could have just hit the fourth switch and left the first three alone if I really wanted to. All right, well that was all of the cells. It's basically nothing on the third floor. So let's head downstairs and start uh, going some of the other paths. So let's go. Let's go right here first. That feels like a place we're not meant to go yet. Fire hose reel, use on wood, paper, and textiles. Do not use on live electrical equipment. Flammable liquid, liquid fires or metal fires. Cool. This is very dark. Oh my god. Contraband. Controlled substance contraband to confined persons prohibited. A person commits felony of the second degree if he brings into any prison any contraband substance. Controlled substance. Schedules 1 through 5 of the Act of April 14th, 1972, known as the Controlled Substance Drug Device and Cosmetic Act. Mandatory minimum penalty. Two years total confinement. Oh my. Okay, well, guys, don't bring anything you're not allowed. Simple as that. Mom, good news. Next week I'm leaving here. The lawyer came to talk to me today. Next week they're going to do an inspection or something like that here at the prison. I didn't quite understand, but they're going to take us to another place. And I'm going to be released from there. I hope everything goes well and this doesn't delay anything, but it's ending, Mom. I'm going back home. I see. That feels like a lie, but okay. Not a lie on his end, but a lie on uh, their end, if you know what I mean. Especially as we know people are disappearing. Can't interact with that book. And nothing else of substance in here. Okay. So that was the thing. Let's circle down and do any other exterior doors. Here's another one. Oh, that's a metal detector. Sure. Beep. Oh. I was expecting that to go off. Oh, that looks like a place I don't want to be. Let's go check it out. Hmm. Don't like that we can open it. I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh, I might be. Hi. Excuse you? Wait, seriously? At least everything we found is still found. But okay, good to know. Do not, uh, do not go through the door marked X. Ooh, yes, yeah, spooky blood. Well, I'm not re-exploring every room, so I'm really glad that it kept all the notes. That's gonna be locked again, so I'm gonna have to go get the note, BRB. There's definitely been more signs appearing around there. That's fun. Ah, good, it's on this one. 8188. Maybe another jump scare sound. Also, what a monster. I'm just now remembering. 
Oh, hello, are you new? No, you're not new, but it's already counted you. 8188. I really hope it doesn't do um, an instant kill jump scare again. Because if it does, I might just stop. Turn the switches in the right order. Wait, did I act seriously do it right the first time by accident? Wow. Okay. But yeah, good to know. If it's got a big red X on it in blood, don't go through it. Let's go down here. Be aware that you're entering an area in which you may be coming into contact with inmates who have communicable and... That timing. And or infectious diseases including acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. You must take appropriate measures to protect yourself. Any willful false reporting, blah blah blah. Okay, I don't care. So this is the disease ward. Roger, before going to eat, since the control center is next to the canteen, check if the IT guy will be able to update the, the this password today. So before going to eat, since the control center is next to the canteen. Uh-huh. I heard that little jingle. I don't know what it was, but I heard it. Seriously, games without a run button. Why do you choose to compose yourself like this? Especially if you're going to make me do a lot of walking. From one side of the map to the other. Okay, can't go to the yard still. go through there yet that still feels like the way to go this is the cafeteria I think yeah that's not new so that one is in a predetermined place some of them seem to be randomized some of them seem to be in a predetermined location down there. Uh-huh, I heard that. Chairs are going to appear, I think. Or did we already pass the chairs? Nope, here they are. And a cup of coffee? Interesting. Definitely has lore it wants to tell us. Nothing else new over here? No, that's where we already were. Okay, so time to move forward then. And then, yeah, this spill in the center here, there's way more wet floor signs than there were. There were only two to start. Very interesting. Alright, let's go through here and do our best not to die. Was that a checkpoint? I hope that was a checkpoint because that door just shut behind us. So maybe that little jingle is a checkpoint sound. Or a you're making progress sound. See the note on the door there, so we're going to be opening more doors here. 
God, there's so much blood. Yeah, I saw you go back around that corner. You ain't fooling no one, my guy. Shower. Stop it. You were advertised as no jump scares, you rap scallion. Uh-huh. Signs definitely weren't there. Do they disappear? They don't. No notes. Just lost the blood. Stop it! Absolutely rude, these signs. Look at that, we're just filled with them now. Can, can you move and not be in the doorway? My god. Which way did I come from? I came from that way, yes. Notice to inmates, male and female staff routinely work and visit inmate housing areas. This just lets out here, okay. Corridor, why yes it is. So I believe the only spot we can go is here. Warning, no warning shots will be fired in this area. If they shoot and they shoot and what? What? I saw nothing. Too many of these jump scares are, um, super easy to miss. Can't go through there, can't go through there. That totally looks like something I should be able to read, but it's not. But he was crawling. There's not even a vent in here. A nerve. Release more doors. I don't know if there's meant to be clues for these or you're just meant to brute force. This is totally the sword of the puzzle. You just brute force. So that opened everything here. Alright, well, time to wander through a bunch of cells again. These ones are a little nicer. So, um, once again, I'll see you if uh, anything happens or we find anything. Oh, hello. Son, I know your wedding is going to be this week. I really wanted to be there. I just wanted to say that I'm very proud of the man you've become, even though I'm not a good role model. You followed a good path. I hope you continue like this. I'm very proud of you. Cool. Hello. Mr. David, thank you for getting in touch. I analyzed some documents and there is nothing different reported. Maybe your friends were moved to a different block. Uh, but there is nothing I can do. Yours sincerely, Dr. Franklin. Oh, Babylon 5 crossover. Just don't do a lounge singer episode, that's all we ask. Hello. I had a feeling there'd be something on one of these tables. 
Dr. Franklin, you need to help me. I need to make a report. There's something very wrong happening here in this prison. Some prisoners are simply disappearing. They are not being transferred or released. They are just disappearing. I think they are getting killed. I know it's a serious accusation and I don't have proof, but there must be some explanation for these disappearances. Someone needs to investigate this, please. Kind of funny we found those in reverse order. Okay, well that's this floor done. Time to move up to number two. Moving on up, moving on up. You know, outside of that one password locked door we never got to go into. Interesting, I just remembered that. wonder if that was bonus content. That looks like they were trying. Either that or it was uh, filled up. Tried to Shawshank their way out. Do I get to keep that poster? No, it doesn't look like it. Is that? I thought that was moving. It is not. Just the graphics. This looks unpleasant. Oh, cool. Dear brother, I hope you and everyone at home are well. I've spent my days here thinking a lot about you and our family. How is everyone around there? Do you have news about mom and dad? I miss them so much. I know they can't come visit me, but send them a hug for me. Love you all. Alright, time to go up yet another. That one didn't even make any sound, but I saw you. Hello? Baby, I was thinking about what you said, and I'd rather you didn't bring Clara here to see me. It hurts a lot to say this, but I don't want her to be traumatized by seeing her father here like this. I'm not going to stay here for long. It's only eight months. Tell her I had to travel for work or something like this. I can't believe I ended up here, but the deal the lawyer made was good. I'll be with you both in eight months. Hmm. Definitely some merit to that, especially if you know you're going to be out before too long. So there's a VR thing, a tennis racket, a solved Rubik's Cube, and then that mug again. I can't read what that says. I feel like those have to be nods to the devs. That just feels the most appropriate. Although there seems to be one in every cell block so far. I'm really hoping it'll make me explore B block and A block. I'm enjoying the ambience so far. The jump scares that don't exist. Cough, cough. have been... A little underwhelming, although that, I will say that one walking across was good on this floor, actually. That's fun. But, um, it definitely feels like a lot of padding so far. And if I, if I die again to another random bullshit door that sends me back to the beginning, I might just call it done, but I don't know. I'm stubborn and I don't like things being unfinished. This is the fourth floor. I'm definitely intending to edit out most of the checking of the cells. 
not sure exactly how much I will edit out once I do. So I don't actually know how long you've been seeing me for this episode yet. Might only have been like 10 minutes of episode. Probably not being quite that judicious though. Alright, and that's it. There was literally nothing on this floor. Alright, I checked. This side. Hat <laughs> cell 69! Oh, come on, you couldn't hide a nice reference in here? Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go back down to the second floor. Going out through there. Nothing below us. It's probably going to shut behind me. What? I didn't see you. Feels like another death door. Of course. What? What are you hooting at? Let me go through here. No. Alright, well they literally have nowhere else to go, so if that kills me, I'ma be so cross. My jimmies will be sufficiently rustled. No. No. Roger always forgets to leave the keys. He's probably smoking somewhere looking at the stars. What the hell does that mean? Fourth floor? Oh my god, the key's literally on one of those ledges and that was the one spot I was neglecting the most as I checked the rooms. Now it was on the fourth floor so maybe it's just always there. I'm gonna go back up there. He said watching the stars and like go as high as he can to watch the stars so maybe. I wonder if the key even spawned before I read that note. miss this. I don't know if you will read this letter. I have already sent several and never received any response. just want to say that I'm sorry. I know that what I did was wrong. I ended up hurting a lot of people. I'm not asking you to apo apologize me. Forgive me. I just wanted to receive something from someone. Curse me. Fight with me. I understand, but say something to me. I'm still your son. And that's the entire top floor re-explored, which means it's on a lower level. This game is actively irritating me with its design decisions. Alright, not on the third floor. I guess, uh, I guess Homie likes to watch the stars from the second floor. Okay, well either it's on the first floor or I have completely missed it. I did. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. <gasps> Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, okay. So, look at this. Look at that, it's in the blood. Red key, in the blood. Also, that guy was right in front of me. Oh my god, okay. Uh, screw that, though. I, oh, okay, this game is starting to piss me off, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's fine. Advance on to the next section. That jump scare did actually get me. I searched this entire cell block three times. 
I think I did the first cell block like three times too if you count um, the death. Way to shove me aside, jeez. Very dramatic music change. HYBT Pharma, 1219 2018. The drug Nexarin has shown promise in the management of Physera Fisa, syndrome, generating the expected mutation in those proteins in human trials. High number of neurological side effects observed, such as headaches, hallucinations, loss of cognitive abilities, strokes, seizures, paralysis, ataxia, and peripheral neuropathy. Delightful. Those sound like real fun things to be dealing with. Lock door. Unlock door. Fuck that. Alex, I know I said I would wait for you, but you need to know something. I'm pregnant. I've been with your cousin for about two months now. I just didn't have the courage to tell you before. I hope you understand. I waited for you for two years. You said you would get out of there sooner, and I need to move on with my life. I hope you understand me. Sorry. It's probably the one who said he didn't want his kid to visit. Before I go in there... I want to know how many other doors in here open. And that's closed. Yep. A lot of PONRs in this game. Is that strictly necessary? Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. So many ways to go. Uh, that's poorly placed. I didn't see you, my guy. I don't appreciate your chicanery. Does it blow us? Go through there, that's good. I feel like we're meant to be seeing it like below us and I just keep missing it. Or it's more things disappearing when we turn around. That's a interesting little balcony. Hi. Okay. That's fun. Be cool if something showed up on the cameras. Saw that he ran across. Okay, we need another code and another locked door. Central control unit. I think we have to go into the dark room now. Also, I don't think that garbage can was there earlier. Eleven ten twenty eighteen. This report goals to document and evaluate the experience of the new drug Nexarine currently in development and on clinical testing. The aim is to provide detailed insight into the effectiveness, tolerability, and any side effects associated with the use of Nexarine. Study goal to evaluate the clinical response and safety profile of the drug. Okay.
Uh huh. Hi family, just to update you, everything is fine here. This new place looks good, the food is not bad, there are fewer people living here. This one seems to be a very nice place. There's even a library here. It's better than the previous prison for sure. My best wishes for everyone at home. That's fake. They faked that. He's dead. I've been recording for an hour and a half, by the way, and it said 40 minute playtime. I mean, technically, I guess if you don't explore and you just kind of rush through. But even then, finding that damn red key. Okay, is that all that was in here? I feel like I'm missing, like, another really obvious key or something. Or a code. No? Okay, I think that's it. Don't forget to update the CCL code, put Roger's badge code just to make him make fun of him, 8446. Okay, thank you. As long as it doesn't make me do cell blocks B and A, I'm I'm okay. That's the key, though, and that was pretty well hidden. Dad, I'm finally understanding everything you used to say to me about God. I've been reading the Bible a lot here, and it is helping me a lot. If I had this mindset before everything that happened, things would be much better. But now I understand this is part of my journey. It took a while, but I really understand... But I really understanding this now. Everything will be fine. God bless you, Dad. I say this not as a bad thing, but just as something to point out, but English is definitely not the dad's first language. You can tell by a lot of, like... I hope I'll apologizing him, or something, like, instead of forgiving. Dr. Andrews, please select 50 subjects as requests by Pharma for their study, initiate the transfer papers, so biological characteristics, please also add to that list individuals with no close families and no regular visits. Payment will be processed. Okay, so he's like selling Dr. Andrews, not Dr. Franklin. But he's like selling uh, prisoners. Uh huh. Is that it? I think that might be it. There doesn't seem to be any clues for this, by the way. It really is just brute force it, which is not really a puzzle at all. Just saying. Do we want to do anything here? I don't think we do. I don't think we can do anything here. Yeah, no, this is not even a door that was locked or anything. Yeah, okay. What? Tell me there's no jump scares. Holy sh shit. What was that? I think I, he was like standing at the foot there and I only just saw a snippet of that. A sheet? No. Director Edwards, I found 50 prisoners with all your requests. 
file list, full list attached to this email. Should I send them the usual consent form? Ominous. Thankfully, no other insta kill doors. I might have just been an air quotes bad ending. Oh, we're on this side of that C corridor. So let me guess, this is B, isn't it? Wait, I'm back here. Okay. Yeah, because there's the showers. Corridor A, where I want to be going down? Yeah, because now I can get through here. Never mind, okay. Nothing over here. No, okay, that's definitely the way we came. Yeah, okay, so definitely not that way. Just gonna slowly trundle our way back over this way. So we just came out there. This is new. Okay, yeah, this is new. Door just shut. Yep. How many more notes are there? Oh, it's only two more letters and one, two, three, four, five more documents. Post it notes don't seem to count. Just gonna check these tables real quick. a dead end? Yes. Sort of. I guess let's go in here real quick. Expecting things to change as we whip about. Stuff that I will probably miss. I don't think that was on the floor before. Literally nothing at the end of this, but okay. Jump scares on this side of the door? No. Okay. Pleasantly surprised. Hi, Mom. I know it's been months since I wrote, but I didn't have much to say. Things are still the same. Same routine, same food, same people, same topics. Anyway, there is a day that goes by that I don't regret being such an idiot, but as you always say, there's no point in regretting it now. It's gone, and now I just have to wait another three years, and I'll be free again, and this time I won't come back here. <coughs> free again and come back. That's interesting. No photos. Thanks for that blue key. Interesting, okay. This goes upstairs. 
Surprised they didn't have the creature peering around the corner up there. Nope, don't want to sprint across my view. Might be another checkpoint save. Roger, the exit code had to be changed again. The new IT guy is an idiot. Anyway, today's code is now 3441. Cool, thanks for letting me know. Oh, there's all these garbage cans were here a moment ago. Observed results, effectiveness, clinical tests, the end results of laboratory tests showed cellular mutation, side effects mild, experienced seizures and headaches at various times during treatment, moderate prolonged hallucinations, temporary losses of cognitive abilities, and attacks of muscular paralysis have been observed. Serious, nothing serious. General observations, the patient did not cooperate with the treatment requiring compulsive use of force in the first day of days of treatment. Patient demonstrated good tolerance to the medication. Okay. Excuse me, garbage can family. Still there. Okay, well, we've definitely been there. This is a dead end, but I guess we're just meant to go back downstairs. Because we have opened doors, and that is important to do. Really surprised they didn't utilize that stairwell. Uh huh. Now, were these hallucinations or is it actually placing stuff? Probably hallucinations. So, are we on the drug then? That, uh, I already forget the name, but. We probably are. I wonder if this whole thing has been an extended trip. I think this is a dead end room. Yeah. Yes, hello, my goodness. It's in the doorway behind us. There's a note on the other side of that one. Um, no notes in here, though. But yeah, this is just the visitation telephone room that you always see in, like, prisons and and movies and such. I meant to say movies first. I don't know why I said and prisons. Yo, what's up, homie? Going for a bit of a walk, eh? Roger, before going to eat, since the control center... Oh! We're back here. Okay. Okay, cool. I actually kind of like that. It's that door I thought we missed, but we just kind of had to circle back around. Honestly, my biggest objections so far have just been the, the two cell blocks. Everything else has been not bad. Two cell blocks, especially cell block C, really pissed me off. Conclusion is necessary to continue the study to better understand the cause of such side effects. At this stage, it will not be possible to commercialize Nexarine. Recommendation, increase the study base with tests at different dose levels. Let's see. A lot of doors I can go in. Jeez, so many doors. Not this one, though.
Dr. Andrews, no need to send a consent form. We will take it from here. Thank you. I might have missed one letter, and there's two more documents, but we also might just get that last letter. This music sounds, like, hopeful. Are we almost at the exit? Lockers are available for the storage of personal items that are not permitted in Namore. Is that the name of this place? Or N.E. More? Hmm. Male inmate visitation. Oh, that's the other side of where we just were. See a note on the floor? No, that's just a checkered, checkered floor tile. I know you will get this letter. I know you can't take this to the police. I know I'm going to leave here at the end of the year. You know too. I haven't forgotten you. I will kill you. I know this. You know this. You have nowhere to go. I may be trapped, but I know you're suffering with each passing day, knowing that I'm going to get out of here, and the first thing I'm going to do is kill you. See you in seven months and fourteen days. Delightful. Is that that last letter? It was. There's two more documents. Desire and visit must arrive at least one half hour before the desired visit period. Okay, that's neat. Good to leave, Eric. What's this gonna be? Nope. And we didn't die. Okay, so I missed two of the documents. Is that it? That must be it. Unless there's something post credits. That's it. Do I actually have to click back? Huh. Okay. Well, that was incredibly disappointing, not gonna lie, and very frustrating. But, uh, it was a thing. It had tension. It's more of a game than I've ever made. So, uh, let's just uh, get on to the next game. This one took me an hour 45 to record. Fun times. All right, yeah, see you in the next game. All right, we're back with our second game, The Fairy. This one is was apparently part of the Scream Secrets Game Jam for 2024 and apparently was ranked number one. That's cool. I love game jams. You tend to get some really unique stuff coming out of those, and then later, sometimes those devs will flesh them out into, like, fuller... Uh, bigger games sometimes um, reworking a lot of things I believe Amanda the adventure was one a lot, lot of a lot of really cool stuff started as a game jam uh, so let's get into this one prologue I was looking through the job section when I found an ad for ferryman <coughs> Ooh, sorry apparently the town of Scotto Bay is having a festival and the regular ferryman broke his leg 
they're offering a hefty bonus due to such short notice. The ferry goes to an island that's famous as a camping spot, so it'll be pretty busy, but it'll still be easy money. I called them and was on the road within an hour. Check the controls, we have a sprint, other than that it's... Yeah, just interact and checklist. Raise the gate to allow cars to approach, direct cars into the boat. You can load up to four cars, but it's okay to run leave with fewer. Watch for stragglers and try not to run behind schedule. When the cars are loaded, press the button by the ramp. It will lock automatically. Head up to the bridge and hold the lever down to start moving forward. The fer ferry practically runs itself and will automatically stop when it reaches the opposite dock. So no risk of running aground. Press the ramp button to release it and direct each car off. Rinse and repeat. Was there a leave ending? There was a leave ending. This is my car. I quit. The next morning you awake to hear Scotto Bay was destroyed in a freak storm. Good thing you quit when you did. Oh my. Okay, well that was an ending. Apparently there are three endings, so that is definitely the first one. Okay. Let's take a look around. Do we have a flashlight? We don't. That's the road. That's where they get on. Is this my little booth? It is. Ferryman note to the one filling in for me. My ferry's likely older than you, but she's a good girl if you treat her right. Important, do not wreck my boat or I'll feed you to the fishes. Ah, I see you made it. Who is this? Why, I'm the owner of that there ferry. Didn't you get my note? Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Just be kind to my boat and we'll call it a pleasure after. You know what you need to do? Yeah, seems simple enough. Very well then, just press that there button to raise the gate and let's get a move on. Let's see if I can go anywhere else first. Oh, there is someone approaching. Hi! Alright, we might as well let them in. Next lane, please. We can hold up to four at a time. Go ahead. <clears throat> On you go. Got one more. Take the open lane. By the sea, this is a busy night! Oh, is that another note? Complaint letter to the management, your security sucks. I did a little fishing and followed all the rules, and one of your thugs came up and said I had to report the fish before I can cook them, then took my fishing gear. I'm going to warn everyone I know about your stupid rules. Hey man, rules are important. Just ask Kinro. Rules are rules. Four cars, when the car's loaded, press the button by the ramp, it will lock automatically. Oh, I did. Unless it's this. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Hit the bridge and hold the lever down to start moving forward. Very practically runs itself. Ah, listen to the engine purr. She'll keep a steady pace as long as you hold the lever down. Can't really look around too much. <clears throat> do, do, do. Uh, I've been making these trips for as long as I can remember. I guess you broke your leg, that's why you're not here tonight. It's very quiet, as it should be. See you, lads. Ooh, that's a rock. Should we not turn? And I guess if it's all automatic, it's probably fine. What if I just stop and go have a look? That's a thing I can do if I want to, but I should probably just go.
and then we'll clunk and lock in. Are we taking people back the other way? No gate on the island, so just load any waiting cars and head back to shore. Okay. Drive safely. Have a good night. You're all set. Enjoy your evening. Take the open lane. Hope the storm isn't a bad one. Then is there a booth here? I thought I saw a booth, but I guess it's just a sign. Harborage Island. Last chance for anyone else? No? Alright. Back over we go. Not a simple not a, not a hard job. I do this job. Is there a storm coming? What gave you that idea? The passenger mentioned it. Ah, yes, just checked with the Coast Guard and a freak storm is brewing out to sea. Oh, delightful. Uh, hello. We will not want to cut across this path so quickly. Chase. Could have hit me. Oh, we've got a car waiting. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Are they flashing their headlights, or is that just the. I think that's just the graphics, okay. Damn storm is ruining my weekend. Running doesn't make a huge difference, but you know we'll run when we can. Oh, uh, the gate. Do I even need a gate? Are we going to get a fourth? Yep. <clears throat> Come on, then. Over we go. I wonder what would happen if I uh, left the gate down when I tried to drive. So how do you like it so far? I can get used to this. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. Well, don't. Do you have any questions for me? Tell me about the festival. That wasn't a question, that was a command. Legend has it that there was a fishing village here once. One night, the village was destroyed, and the survivors built the current town. That was 200 years ago to the night. So it's the town's birthday? More like a memorial to the old village. Shall I? Shore life is full of hazards and we shouldn't forget that. I see. Boop. 
Going through the middle? I can. May you be blessed. Oh, thank you. Can you go? No, okay, I gotta get the guy in front. Oh, pie, pie. Kind of sounds like what he's saying. Just two again? Those campers weren't happy about the evacuation order. Oh, no, we got a third at least. Is that it? I think that might be it. Wait another 10 seconds. Nope, we're good. That rock makes me a little nervous. I'm sure it's probably fine, but it still makes me nervous. Hey, watch it. I heard that all the way over here. It sounded like I hit something. Just try to pay more attention next time. I want my boat back in one piece. Literally it hit nothing. There's nothing here that we could have possibly hit. We're well away from that rock. By the way, where are you? I assume you must live nearby then? There's a little copse of trees over there on the right. I missed that before. Ooh. Well, wonder what would happen if I left without the passengers. We just took the ferry over to the other island and just left. Walked down the road. No cryptic one-liner? Okay. Anything else over here, by the way? No? Okay. Alright, yes, hello. Get your butt in there. Number four. That's a... Oh, there's a toilet there. Nice. Alright. Just three this time. Sounds like the old girl stalled. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated like a fuse box or anything. Just head below and you'll find a valve. Turn it and she'll be right as rain. How do I go below? Uh, 
Oh, I see. Not really truly below. Yeah? Can I help you? Yeah, you good? Okay. Don't need that attitude. They're, li they're lying, leave before they find out I warned you. Uh huh. Am I going the right way? Yes, okay. I don't think that note was there before. Absolutely, it made me lose track of which side we're on. Oh, we're on the, um, the island side. Okay. They're lying. Leave before they find out I warned you. Who's they? Your service to the town will not be forgotten. Am I a sacrifice? Oh, is this is this a sacrifice? Every year they have someone new come and take over the boat so they can be sacrificed to ensure prosperity. Let's see what happens. I wonder if it'll move me out of the way or if I'll get hit. <laughs> Driver rush you to the nearest hospital. You'll heal, but your faring days are over. I'm gonna have to do that again. I'm gonna have to do that again. That's fine. I'll cut back to uh, I'll cut back to where we were. I just want to know what would happen. Worth noting. No note. Valve spun. Car honk, and suddenly no. Yes. Now, um, I did try checking, uh, just walking out on both sides of the route. Won't let us do it. And uh, it also won't let us launch without um, lowering the, the button, you know. Now, worth noting that I haven't lowered the gate once on the starting side, and I don't think that matters, so I'm not going to bother dealing with that. But this is the spot where I let myself get run over by a car. Get out of here, you rascals. You blobby shadow people. Yeah, that... That's a sus line. Get out of here, A70, a little rapscallion. And there he is, the champion of our former demise. He had a friend behind him, too. Just waiting for like a fifth one to show me like please take me with you I'll just be like um there's literally no room so uh how was the old village destroyed nobody knows probably was just a freak storm like the one we're expecting tonight or a huge wave come on to shore like one of them there tsunami things Kids think it was revenge. Revenge? Yeah. Sailors came to town with their stories and the kids eat them up. Kids are always talking about ghosts and goblins. That was a good game. Hey, look, kid. These freak storms are no joke, and there are more people to evacuate. 
Let's focus on that, and we can talk about tall tales after everyone's safe, okay? <clears throat> yeah, tall tales. Might be closer to the ground tales than you expect. I don't think there's anyone waiting. Yeah, why are people trying to go onto the island if it's uh, in immense danger? Maybe go pick up their families or something? I should be home in time for the banquet. Anyone? Oh, hey, I didn't lower that gate. Someone else did. Yeah, okay, there's people showing up. I'm not sure if I want to stay. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, we already got that ending. I don't want to get it again. Yeah, I didn't lower that gate. And it was up every time I came over except for that one time. Interesting. Anyone else? Just two? Just two. Yeah, no one else. Okay. That note's gone. That's interesting. Can't help but see eyes with those gauges. Oh. Watch it. Sorry. Physically, I'm not hitting anything. I wonder if there's something passing underneath, like a kraken or something. Some sort of sea monster. I don't know if we're attached to the ocean or not. Hey, listen, kid. This will probably be the last trip back, so I'm off to bed. You did good tonight, and we appreciate it more than you'll ever know. How do you know that? Should I not be running this route for at least several hours? Path to heaven is clear, even for you. Bro, what a sus thing to say. Hey, please don't leave yet. My girlfriend called and asked me to get her. Okay, I'll keep a spot open. How long do we need to wait? The evacuation is nearly complete. Cool. And am I going to have to come back just for you? It's pretty damn quick if that's him. Also, I haven't even really seen any indication of a storm. It's been a fairly smooth night. Thanks for waiting for us. No problem. Drive on and let's get out of here before that storm gets too close. I guess that's it, okay. I literally did not have to wait. Make sure no one else shows up. I mean, I couldn't take them if they did, but... Alright. This will apparently be our last trip. It's going to go very smoothly for us.
wonder what that note was all about. They're lying leap. That's not a rock. I saw something just now. That wasn't a rock. Yeah, I knew that rock was sus every time. I, I felt like it was in different times too, but no. Yes, that's what we kept air quotes hitting. It was the rock bumping us from underneath. We are absolutely going to die. Just keep driving, just keep driving, driving, driving. Trees are still there on the right. Almost there. Okay. Is it going to be like, oh, wait, hey, before you go, uh, I got word that there's one more person. Go back and cut and get them. That's, and that's where it's going to get us. Huh. Oh, did I just screw myself? No, okay, good. Everyone's been evacuated. There is one casualty this night. We must deliver their body. Okay, but let's make it fast. Yeah, it's me. I'm the casualty. Agreed. Oh, no, that's a hearse. Okay. It's for me. <clears throat> it's for me. It'd be cool if there was like a different ending for leaving at different times. Like if we left instead of taking that last guy. But it would just be the same. Oh. What was that? Sound like he dumped something out, or something jumped out. But I did not see anything, and he was still in his vehicle. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. Glad we're getting clear weather for the fest at- wait, is this thing on? That night, a creature known only to the people of Scotto Bay awoke and consumed the town's peace offering. Satisfied in this exchange, the peace settled back down and vengeance was averted for another century. The next morning, the ferryman returned to duty in a boat identical to the one sacrificed and went about business as usual. People once again flocked to the island getaway, never knowing that the beast, sometimes mentioned in hushed whispers by the town folk, was sleeping in plain sight. So wait, was it the dock itself, or was it just that rock? Huh? Neat little game. Interesting. Some decent tension. Um, a few more conversations would have been nice. Maybe a puzzle or two. It was pretty short. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Let's get on to game number three. Alright, and on to the final game of this uh, trio for today. We have Funeralopolis Last Days by Banana Jeff. Also got this one from Itch. 
Uh, this one actually comes with a little booklet of lore, too, which is pretty neat. Day one. There are apparently two endings for this. That's a, that's a rail car. I'd like to maybe get out of the way, please. I mean, I know it's about to turn, but okay. Just a camera, that's fine. That's allowed. That's fairly smooth animation. The street. The streets are much quieter nowadays. No wonder, with the current air condition and all. The clouds just won't go away. Oh yeah, and then the description of this game mentions that some s no one's seen the sky in months. Some clouds have moved in. Apparently something is brewing. Stuff I don't need in the house. Makes sense. Antenna. Allows me to pick up on radio signals. Empty pot full of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. My apartment. It has become quite messy in recent days. I don't really care these days. Even though it doesn't have a prompt, you can click the door whenever you want. Clouds are getting thicker every day. We haven't seen much sunlight in months. Can I crouch? I cannot. Marzek, 1983. March, 1983. A bunch of papers lying around. The move revealed some curious equipment needing repair that got my attention. I prepared a list of needed parts that need to be bought. The shop is open 8 to 14, 2 o'clock. Things needed new apartment, new bedding, get this ASAP. Replace the bathtub, need to contact the office. Fix the fridge and wash it. Sort out your year's papers by Sunday. This year's papers by Sunday. Previous overseer left the office in shambles. The estate council needs a document to be sorted out till the next meeting. I don't know if I'll manage to do it on time. I imagine this job would involve working with a terminal in much bigger capacity than working with people. I also never got to meet the previous overseer. They resigned quickly and with no notice. Council cannot seem to get in touch with them to this day. April, April, buy a newspaper. There was talk at today's estate council meeting about some sort of accident in the mines. I need to go out and buy a newspaper because apparently too much of my attention was taken up with recent radio repair projects. I managed to read multiple newspapers describing the accident and it seems that it's the most talked about thing in the city. The whole thing seems very sketchy. There still hasn't been any official report that would describe the situation in more detail. People are saying that the church is way too involved with the incident and is suppressing much of the information. I wonder if the rumors are true. Let me see. Still April, I have an idea how to get more info about the accident. The church is using a special transmitter and a hidden frequency for confidential communication. And I think I can figure out how to construct a receiver that's compatible with my machinery. I'm going to get the missing parts tomorrow. I managed to figure out the construction of the transmitter, and I'm 90% confident it will work. Unfortunately, I can't test it right now, as there seems to be no traffic this late at night. I need to catch up on work. The receiver is working! I haven't picked up any relevant or important info yet, but it might be a good idea to start transcribing what I hear from now on. The thought hadn't occurred to me till now, but is what I'm doing right now even legal? Probably not. Hey, you're like listening to radio waves? May. New tenant is moving into the apartment number 24. From what I've been told, it's supposed to be some young lad of college age. I hope he won't cause much trouble around here. With most of the staff ill, I have to deal with the cleanup of this flat myself. I don't have time for this. I cannot focus on work. The backlog of documents keeps piling up, but the only thing on my mind is the radio. First attempt at transcribing what I picked up today. Unfortunately, it was nothing interesting, just idle banter between the crew. Need to come up with a better system to only note the important things. I was able to hear a few conversations about the mining zone that was flooded back in April. It seems that the church is unofficially calling this liquid the soup. Apparently it's because the thing is unusually thick in consistency, has a dark color, and strong smell. It sounds different than what was described in the newspapers. Some churchmen are even comparing the liquid to thickened blood. Hooray for water damage. 
Spilled my coffee all over the notebook because one of the residents decided to scare me with a doorbell. They even complained about me not being in my office during work hours. Thankfully, I managed to take care of the catastrophe quickly. Not much of my notes were lost. I cannot write on this. Lol. They were discussing the quarantines in the factories today. To sum up what I was able to hear, it's very bad. If someone wasn't released in the first week, there's apparently little to no chance of them leaving the quarantine. The situation seems very serious, but I don't know any details as to why. I only know that it has some connection to the suit. What exactly? I have no idea. I finally wonder what the exact st statistics are. Which group is larger? How many residents of this building are not coming back here? Interesting. Hastily written notes from radio broadcasts. I've rewritten them in my main notebook for the convenience. Interesting. Radio related machinery that allows me to listen to radio traffic not available to the public. Check that again in a sec. Collection of technical books about radio transmitters and other machines. There are also some sci fi novels tucked between them. It's not very comfortable. Lol. Just a regular landscape painting. I'll fix them one day. Voice of the City! Wednesday, July 1983, Polish Language Edition. Unrest in the Mines! Increasing number of KWIM Huta Grobno mine plant workers sent home over a recent incident in factory area. Their identities remain classified. The official ruling of the Mine Council announced on June 10th. Resumption of mining work in eastern sectors. In order to reduce the losses caused by the stagnation in the factory mining area, the city government has decided to resume mining operations in the eastern region. This area was estimated to be the most stable and safer workers. Other areas are under evaluation. Members of Eastern European Trade Delegation in the city. Sonda 5 sent towards Mars. It will fly to the recently discovered third moon of Mars. Third? Moon of Mars? Well, that's concerning. Uh, Harmony. The probe was launched from neutral no man's land. Residents of the nearby town of Huta Grobno could see a streak tra trailing through the flying satellite in the night sky at 9.33 p.m. See what? We haven't seen the sun in months. Yeah, interesting. I have to get them off the wall one day. It makes me look like a madman. Got this thing from my grandma. Empty. Ficus, it has seen better days. There's only so much you can do without much sunlight. Alright, let's listen. Marks the 45th day of intense sky cloud cover. I missed the word. People are advised to stay indoors and don't leave their windows open, as the air can have a negative effect on the lungs, scientists say. I still don't know the source of the city's air pollution, but the right people are working on the problem. For now, all we can do is stay calm and use the time spent indoors to take care of those closest to us. Uh-huh. For now, the closest thing for me is the plant in the corner of the room. It's not bad. Uh, church's private frequency. Had another confrontation in one of the closed sections of the factories. Two of our people injured. Seventy of injuries is severity of injuries is mild and non-life threatening. Five quarantined factory workers have been compromised, one suffered fatal injury. Requesting two emergency trains to help with the cleanup of the biohazard related to the aftermath of the incident. We can't determine the type of hazard we're dealing with. Approach the scene with caution. Ugh, getting hungry. It's dinner time after all. What a thing to make you hungry. Oh, the light was off. Same old, same old. Oh, it's me! Hi, me! 
Look at you proper reflections. Oh, that's nice. It's nice when devs are able to do working mirrors. Cabinet full of various bathroom supplies. A washing machine. Frania. Some painkillers for headaches. Spare shower gels. Cleaning detergents. Everyday use hair maintenance products. Fresh hand towel, even if it may not look so. Toothbrush and a razor. Sink so all the dirt won't come off. Bar of slimy soap. My reflection. It smells like your regular detergent. It's old and gross. I'm waiting to have it replaced. Piece of shit junkers. A very unreliable water heater. I see. That it? Okay, that's it for the bathroom. On oh, the toilet's separate. I like that. Roll of toilet paper ready to use. Newspaper, newspaper the comic strips, smart clean detergents and tools. I don't need to use it right now. That's good. I have to take the trash out soon. Neighbors sometimes come to borrow it, as there are, these are not very common these days. Wardrobe filled mostly with junk and unused appliances. Okay, well, you guys seem to be doing okay. Miss, Mrs. and Mr. Climac lived in the apartment even before I moved in. They're nice people. Fuse box for this apartment. This clothes don't see much use nowadays. That's bedroom. He said he was hungry. So let's go in here first. Clothes are stored there. Do not throw away. Huta Express, Wednesday, April 1983. <clears throat> an underground source of an un uh, an underground source of an unidentified liquid was discovered while working at the city's deepest open pit mine, Centrum Grobno. The thick, rust-colored substance flooded the bottom of the mine in less than an hour, and it appears that the liquid level is gradually rising. Initial estimates by the research staff of the Church of Faith and Enlightenment. Why are they involved, by the way? Just instead of, like, government stuff? Say the water source is highly contaminated and poses a potential health risk. Work at the mine is suspended until further notice. This incident will have catastrophic effects on the economy of the independent city. Okay. Work-related stuff. Novels to read before sleep. Not sleepy yet. It's gloomy outside. Sound of this clock's alarm will one day give me a heart attack. I think we can all relate to that a little bit. Okay. And then those two, let's shut those doors that's the, like, the office and here's the kitchen painting of flowers I have no idea why my wall is cracked like this it's been in the state for a month now well that's concerning it's gloomy outside sturdy metal pan stack of small pots some leftover dumplings will do Okay. Can't have coffee without it for freshly clean plates or dishes. Try to keep everything relatively clean. There's not much to do during the day anyway. Yeah, you don't really have video games in 1983, Poland. Dishwashing liquid, citrus scented. Bottle of bleach. No bread. Various shelves, store dry foods. This one is for storing dishes. It's very sharp. Chekhov's knife. Alcohol bottles, ladles and other kitchen utensils, wooden board. I appreciate when there's a description of every single item, even if it's just, like, collection of cups, you know? I do appreciate that. I'll have to get groceries soon if the outside condition gets better, that is. I can always eat in the building's cafeteria with other residents if I need to. Assuming food deliveries are still happening. 
June 1983. July, August, September, October. Oh, those are foods on the top. I don't recognize most of them, but apparently this one is sorrel soup. Fermented cucumber soup. Red borscht. Chicken broth. Wonderful need to look at uh, the calendar for past days. Get a specific date. I didn't understand the word he just said, but we ate the dumplings. Should check the radio after dinner. Don't want to miss anything interesting. Uh, it's getting dark outside, I think. This light actually matters here. More music. Reporting from fr uh, Sector 02, the mining hole. Today we recorded a sudden increase in the un unidentified liquid that has been filling the mine. Caught some of the crewmen off guard. They came into contact with the substance. We did preliminary cleanups and followed the latest draft of procedures. They should be arriving at HQ's medical ward on the next incoming tram. Take care of them. There are also new samples of the soup arriving on the same train. They were taken today after the sudden rise. I I think I saw its surface move today. Although I think I wish it were only my imagination. Reports from the mine are becoming more and more concerning as the days go by. Yeah, really. Got it. Yeah, I guess that's it. What is this music over here? Am I good to go to bed? No. Oh, cutscene. Oh cool, the crack's getting worse. We like that. Where's my kitchen? What the fuck? I can't see through the hole. It's pitch black. Is this one of the abnormal things churchmen were talking about on the radio? I need to see if the wall on the other side is broken too. It should be visible from the hallway staircase. To go out to the hallway. Nope. Can't see anything weird from this side. It's getting late and I'm tired. I'll figure something out tomorrow. F hell with that. Meters and fuse boxes for different apartments. Hey, overseer. What you doing here? Admiring the walls? Hello, Adam. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't sneak up on people like that. <laughs> sure, sure. Is there anything going on, or...? No, not really. Something you have to worry about. Uh-huh. If you say so. By the way, do you know when the janitor is coming back? Some lights in my apartment are busted, and it's getting annoying. I'm sorry. He's just extended his sick leave, and we can't find a replacement. Ugh, bummer. What's up? Hmm. My office haven't been there for some time. I don't need to go in there now. So we're the overseer. It's good to have confirmation. Or sanitary area. It's an interesting concept to have for a building. Posters. Uh, battering the comfort of bettering the comfort of locomotion since 1972 on 20 on ugh, stupid day month on April 22nd 1983 there will be a hydraulics maintenance of the Bolonska Street buildings expect water outages between 8 to 2 what's up <clears throat> department of Mr. and Mrs. Climac I don't need to bother them why is it Mrs. and Mr. It just does not flow as well communal bathroom with toilets and showers I like the convenience of having these things in my apartment yeah do not want to have to deal with communal ones. 
Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Begier's apartment. I really don't want to talk with any of them. Nobody lives here right now. Place has been vacant for some time. It's dead. Tony, January 22nd, 1983. Filled with cleaning equipment. Creepy old guy's apartment. This old man is giving me the creeps. What's with the noise? Mr. Nita's apartment. No reason to bother the guy. I mean, he's out in the hall. Poor plant. It's beginning to wilt. Place for the residents to hang out. It's not really used too much nowadays. Clutter left by the residents. No one claims these. It might even belong to the previous tenant. New Underground Power Station Commissioned The third innovative underground power station was commissioned on May at 8.34pm. Excess energy extracted from this highly impressive source will be made available to nearby friends beyond the no man's land border. Incessant cloudiness, the alarming appearance of flurries of rusty rain with the first rainfall occurring on Monday 18th May. What do you mean rusty rain? That sounds concerning. Huta Grobno reaches record population number. It is now over 12 million inhabitants, gaining the status of an autonomous megacity. People from all over Europe and even the whole world come to the Huta Grobno city. There will be no shortage of space for anyone, says the Minister for Infrastructure. Designs for new housing estates have been approved and work is scheduled to begin soon. And those are the missing mine workers. Interesting. Okay, well, back into our apartment. Can I go downstairs? I cannot. Weird guy. I think I can go to sleep now. I just saw you teleport at him. I'm not allowed to look through the people right now. That's interesting. Thing I can do about it now. I mean, I'd at least cover it. But then again, I am a paranoid man. It's not like I'll do anything with the hole today. Might as well try to contact somebody tomorrow. I hope it won't get worse at night. Middle of the night. Oh no. You foreshadowed too hard. Somebody must have woken me up. I should check what it was or I'll be able to fall asleep again. still here. It's night. Shouldn't eat at night. What are you, a gremlin? Don't eat after midnight. Still don't know what this other switch does. Oh, is it the fan? It's the fan, okay. Something's happening on the back of the building. I'll see better from the end of the corridor. Oh, interesting. Got almost everyone out. We're in the process of identifying residents and relocating them to HQ. Two trams are already on their way, three more to go. Sources in the basement will probably need another team to secure it. I'll give you an update after all the residents are out. Okay, that was that one. That's it. this window back here. Adam? Something going on? Oh my, yeah. You tell me. I was smoking on the balcony when I heard something going on on the side of the building. So I come to check and what do you know? The church shows up. 
They went to one of the blocks. The church? What are they doing here? Beats me. They arrived, like, about 30 minutes ago. A lot of them, too, all geared up and shit. And the residents started coming out. Suspicious as fuck, if you ask me. Very suspicious indeed. Check it out for yourself. Cutscene? Yeah. These cutscenes are a nice touch. It's not like the kind of game that would have cutscenes. So are these the evacuation trams? Huh. There's a lot of people outside. Looks like the whole building is out. Yeah, seems like it. And they're all loaded into the trains. The fuck must have happened there? I really don't like this. Yeah, no shit. I wonder... Uh... Hmm? Wonderful to hear about this in the news, you know? Oh. I really don't think so. But we'll see tomorrow. I guess. Now I'm going to go back to sleep. Yeah, sure. Good night. Huh. And we have a fast walk button. Someone's at the end of the hall. With every light turned on, we'll go back to bed. Day two. Check the radio, I guess. <laughs> Trouble asking arising of the city borders due to the ongoing conditions of the city, many of people decided to leave. However, this becomes severely difficult in recent days. The trains and trams leaving the city are overcrowded and the infrastructure is simply unable to keep up. Waiting times have become unbearably long and some trains don't arrive at all. Those who decided to leave on foot are facing at least a two-day hike to the nearest city. It's not an easy journey to make for those who are un who undertake it unprepared. Overcrowded trains or a long hi hiking trip? No thanks. Reporting one fatality. The guidelines we have received have proven insufficient. I understand that they are subject to constant change, but they have now failed us. They didn't prepare us for the event that transpired. Please update them as soon as possible to prevent further endangerment of our crewmen's lives due to these avoidable mistakes. From now on, all marked buildings confirmed to show dangerous activity must be placed under mandatory lockdown. Relocate all uncompromised residents immediately. Let them take their valuables. There is a chance they won't have anything to return to. Can my apartment be marked because of the thing in the kitchen? Doesn't look that serious, but maybe I should take another look at it. I mean, yeah, most likely. Mysterious one-sided holes showing up in your kitchen are generally not a good thing. Is it really that serious? It's just emitting some sound. It doesn't look like something that would warrant a liquidation of the entire whole building. I can always try to record it to determine whether it's dangerous or not. I just need to pick up some equipment from the living room. It's gonna widen. You gonna eat? Not hungry yet? Okay. Leftover dirty dishes from yesterday. You should wash those. Microphone and headphones. I mean, you mentioned they're they're emitting some sound. It's hard to make up the sound with my bare ears. Recording equipment from the living room should help with that. I I have. I guess I needed more. This recorder will do. Oh man, we're just gonna take that whole damn thing. Okay. Okay, almost got everything set up. I'm only missing cable. Should be one of my office in the hallway. Oh, 
office in the hallway. Oh, office, Miss Climax. Hi. Hello there. I haven't seen you in a while. Good day, Mrs. Climax. I see you're stepping in for the gender today as well. <laughs> what more is there to do for such an old lady like me? Who knows when our gender will come back, poor guy. And how are you holding up? Oh, I'm getting by. No reason to worry here. Just getting a little bored, as Henrik is asleep most of the day. Is your husband unwell? Ah, he's been better for sure. He's sleeping right now. He's been like that a lot recently. The air has had an impact on his health, I'm afraid. Of course, he won't admit it when asked. Sorry to hear this. I hope he'll get better soon. Take care of him. Of course, dear. Have a nice day. I'm just blasting music again as long as no one complains. I don't really mind. It's not bad music. A lot of obituaries have piled up over these past few months. All of who knows what. Probably more unsorted files and documents. Lots of items related to the building's management. Previous overseer left. Oh, right. I forgot. That was flat out in the opening. Council State of the 50th Anniversary Neighborhood. Reminder addressed for the overseer of the residential block at Bulonska 6. Members of the council are concerned about your lack of dedication to work, as well as a mixed feedback derived from a survey conducted among the residents of the block. We kindly request that you attend an interview summarizing your work trial period with regards. Is that us? Maybe. More files to sift through and organize. Work in progress paperwork. I haven't touched it for a long time. Apartment rental payment booklet. Uh, Crook Adam. Monthly amount of rent not registered. All payments are waived for the duration of the environmental emergency. Cool. Used with a reader, wall mounted module 21B, universal portable radio 71. To access the advanced features of the terminal, use a portable universal reader. Grab the reader. Yeah, I don't really think that matters all that much. Terminal used to access all the important data related to this block's management. It's a privilege to have access to such a complicated and powerful machine. Wouldn't be allowed to use it if it weren't for my job. Yeah, this should do it. Church Shrem is here? That can't be good. Interesting. You hear an unknown voice coming from the hallway. Maybe it's best just to wait this out here. They're not going to go away, they're going to come knock. Yeah, hey, I forgot there's a check time button uh i'm the representative of the church's scientific division you're this building's overseer i presume yes it's me hello good we'll have to take a look at the terminal's records of course take whatever you need we will say have any of the residents reported anything unusual happening around the building recently these must be the endings. We'll tell her. Yes, there is something abnormal happening around. We elaborate. In my apartment, there is... Uh, come and see for yourself. And so the churchman came to your apartment. What they saw seemed to greatly alarm them. It was a good call to tell them, you think. She seems sad. It was also something else that caught their attention. Your eavesdropping of their channels has been found out. Normally, you'd be arrested for that. But your technical skills seem to be more important for them. 
We were given an offer. Declining is not an option. Not that it really mattered. What? It all happened too quickly. What? The residents weren't evacuated in time. And they were in the heart of it all. That's Adam. Is that like freaking Cthulhu? Doomed. You were safe in the church HQ when it happened. Not that any of your actions would have changed anything. Just the guilt remains. It was a good choice to make. Okay. I guess that's the first of the two endings. Interesting. Let's uh, not tell then. And I guess we'll be here when it all goes down. Now, I think um, this game is part of a greater universe from the dev, or it's either the start of it or it's part of it. Um, so that's something to consider. In a way, I guess it's almost like a teaser for the world. I don't know. I'll have to look into... Uh... That was funny. I'll have to look into it later and see... How many more games the devs made? There's nothing that I know of. And it's not like they'd uh, tell me if anything worrisome happened. Oh, aren't you the overseer? I got this position not so long ago. Residents don't trust me yet. I see. Shame. More work for us. One of my men will stay here to take the data from the terminal. We'll be back in a few days to do a more thorough search of the whole building. Mandatory, just so you know. Sure, thanks for the heads up. Okay, you, uh... Enjoy that. Something the matter. You have something unusual to report. What kind of unusual are you looking for exactly? I'm afraid I cannot share this information with you. If you encounter anything out of the ordinary in the near future, please contact the church directly. Sure. Church is talking with Mr. and Mr. Climac. Hope it's nothing serious. I didn't get the chance to talk to her there, because I went straight in. Hey, Adam. Hey, Overseer. I saw the lead church lady come into the office. Do you know what's really going on here? Is this just a regular checkup, or...? Sorry, Adam. I'm afraid I know nothing more than you right now. Bummer. I'll just wait and ask her myself, I guess. Your help is not needed anymore. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm here to collect the data from the terminals. Your face is glitching there, bud. If you have anything to report, please take it to the other crew members. I'm sure the hole in the wall is nothing that serious. It must be plugged into the electrical outlet. There. Okay, it's all set up and ready to record. Should give it some time to pick up the sounds. I'm getting hungry too. What do I have here? Sandwich. Yesterday, sandwiches from the cafeteria. They're starting to get pretty nasty, but I'm not about to let food go to waste now. 
Oh, I guess we just ate it right here. Be better if I don't go to the kitchen for the time of recording. I wonder if there's anything going on with the radio. Also, the churchmen haven't done much damage to the office. Pond H6. Pawn 2D to 4D. Knight from H8 to F6. Playing chess over the radio? I don't want to listen to that. I was updating my notebook for the developments to pass the time. Take some time. Yep, go ahead. Do your updating, homie. Recording should be ready now. Time really has passed. God damn. What even says fan switch? I'm silly. Let's see. That doesn't sound great. Maybe playing it back right next to the hole isn't a great idea either. Oh. Uh, bad. I need to lay down. Yeah, this is maybe not bad. I'm about to throw up. I'm gonna hold on. Are you okay? I'm gonna go to bed. That's not bad. Let this all just end and collapse. Oh. Well, this is maybe not great. That's not great. The uh, the wall just ate our hand. Day three. Uh, we have a hand again. More pressing matters right now. Yeah, really. Needs to be cleaned up ASAP. Sounds are gone. I don't want to touch it. So much blood. In the shower, but I should clean up the bottom of the kitchen first before it totally dries. How do I how do I do so? I want the cleaning detergents, yes. so much blood you can still kind of see traces we need that shower yeah is that even your arm the red is not coming off I don't know what it is but I don't feel any pain yeah that's not your arm your arm has been replaced. Showered already. Just got a uh, red left hand. No stain with blood. Better wash this now. The stains won't come off. I guess let's check the radio. What now? Leaflet. 
Citizen, make it easy for the staff to work on maintaining security. Cooperate with church staff inspecting the building where you live. Report any past stay in the industrial factory area. Report any observed anomaly or unexplained events you may have trouble explaining. Unannounced visual changes in a residential building. Sudden efflorescence of mold. Sounds of unidentifiable origin. Persistent unprecedented skin lesions. If in doubt, ask facility staff. Okay, yes. Hello, Mr. Nita. What can he want right now? Yes, yeah, is something the matter? Mr. Nita, did something happen? This is a problem! A light at the end of the hallway! It's not working, and sparks come out when you turn it on! Jander's not here. Can you fix it? Can't you just not turn it on until the Jander shows up? No! Sparks can cause fire, and that would be bad! It's your job to take care of the problems here! Yeah, yeah, I'll do this. Just give me a moment. Good! Can't go out like this. I can cover my hand with a bandage from bathroom's cabinet. And wrapped, I suppose. didn't mess with it too much. I wonder what that actually records. Hmm. Can't look at the wall again. Also can't leave the floor. Hello, Mr. Climax. Good morning. Was that Mr. Nate at your door? I haven't seen that guy in ages. Yeah, that was him. I tried knocking on his door, but he always ignored me. He hasn't been the same since he was dismissed from factories a month ago. Oh well, maybe he'll come around in time. Yeah, I guess it got damaged pretty bad. I have tools in my office. I haven't listened to the radio yet, I should do that. Nothing, okay. Worth a check, though. Damage to the cable doesn't seem to be that severe. Quick fix should be enough to keep it steady for now. Now to see if the lamp itself got damaged. Ran out of light bulbs a while ago and still didn't get the delivery. Uh, can I help you, bud? What is your problem? Mr. Nita, that was highly inappropriate. Nice bandage. Just wanted to see. See what? What happened to your hand? It's no concern of yours. I, I'll i be going now. <laughs> See you in hell. Yeah, he knows. He knows what's up. Because he was uh, in the mines, he said. Oh, everyone got the leaflet. Adam hasn't taken his yet. Just put the toilet box away. Okay. Gonna get on the radio. We've received disturbing reports of a gruesome incident happening on Bolonska Street. Details are sparse, but it appears there has been a rather bloody incident in the neighborhood. Huh? That's my street. I should go out on the balcony and see. Oh. Oh my. OK. 
Okay. Oh! Well, that's not great. Well, that's really not great. Crowd's attention is now split between the blood pa bath and the crack on the street. Interesting. Broadcast is being postponed due to sudden on-site developments. We'll provide an update on the situation soon. What even are you? Mrs. Bezier. Something happened. What was that? An earthquake? What's going on? I think so. The street in front of the building is all cracked. Oh god, why is all of this happening? No one really knows, but we're all going through the same thing. Oh, shut the fuck up! You're an excuse of an overseer. I can't fathom why, out of all candidates, the board chose you. You're, you care only about that weird machinery of yours, not about the residents. Why didn't you choose to work at the factories then, huh? Isn't that taking this too far? Commuting to work is too much of a hassle for you. You were probably after the apartment, too. So you could hole up in there for days, avoiding everyone else. Sharing spaces with the residents is below you, huh? Mrs. Bezier, please, that's really uncalled for. You shouldn't be here. Just fucking leave. Wow. Okay, screw you. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, dear, but maybe it'll be better if you leave for now. Sorry. What, like, leave the apartment or, or leave her? Why have I even bothered? Band is getting really uncomfortable to wear. Might as well take it off as I don't feel like going outside anymore today. Not sleepy yet, is it? Probably radio, then food. Following the incident on Balonska Street, we're receiving reports of small earthquakes throughout the city. Cracks as wide as one meter have formed in neighborhoods near the factories and mines. Team services are disrupted, tram services by these unusual occurrences, and pedestrians are advised to exercise caution while moving through the city. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere in this state. The guy just wouldn't shut up and was screaming. Couldn't tell whether he was in pain or just mad. Unfortunately, we didn't get out there, didn't get there before he lunged with some random pedestrian. First, we thought he was covered in blood, which is partly true, I suppose. But when we got closer, we realized it wasn't just blood. His entire body was fucking red. Blood red. We got him transported to the labs. Maybe they'll figure out what's going on. The thing is, when my teammates apprehended him, after making contact, their exposed skin showed symptoms of extreme irritation. I really hope it's nothing, but it did not look good. I've had enough this day. I'm getting really tired and my headache is getting worse. Better take some painkillers before this turns into a full-blown migraine. Yeah, your skin is red. That's not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. I just want to see if there's anything past us. Oh, just music. Okay. helps. Why did the light flicker right when I took that? Huh? Somebody's there? And somebody was looking at me. Didn't lock the door. Fuck. Who would even do something like this? I hope they didn't see my hand. Had enough this day, I just want to go to bed. You don't want to eat? I'm not hungry. Okay. Think about it. Maybe it's better to cover up the hole in the wall for the night. I don't really want to repeat what happened today. 
table should be about the right size for this. Let's need to take everything off. Question marks. Why am I out in the hallway? Imagine your face melts down and falls off every day, but you can pick it up and mold it back together. Would you make yourself a new one? How long would it take for you to get bored of repeating the same thing every day? You know, after a while, you stop caring whether your face is there or not. It's easier this way, and it's not like anybody cares. You won't have to imagine that now. I see. Literally can't see shit. Can't go into the bathroom. The kitchen is a black void. Oh, hello. Disgusting. Get off my bed. It is my bed, my place to rest. You and I are the same, placed at different intervals of time. I don't believe you. You brought it upon yourself. How was I supposed to know it would end up like this? Don't worry, you're welcome to your fate. Don't fight it. I never wanted any of this. It's not about what you want, it's about what you do. It's about what the world does to you. Don't fight it. I will. I don't agree to this. This disintegration. There's not much you can do now. You will be okay. It doesn't hurt. You won't be alone. Yeah, okay, so this world is ending, clearly. Day four. Did we skip day three? No, we did day three. I see red on the carpet. What is that? Oh my. Yeah, your hand's looking a little rough there, buddy. How you feeling? That red pixel is there. Disgusting. Disgusting! Let's climb at. Let's talk with her through the door. Overseer, please open the door. I can't. Just tell me what's happening. Oh, it's Henrik. No matter what I do, he's not waking up. He's still breathing, but I can't get through to him. Phone line is busy all the time. I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm sorry, Mrs. Climac. I'm afraid I'm not in no shape to help. I'm barely able to stand. What am I supposed to do? Sorry. Yeah, jeez. Where's the mirror? Thing changed. Kind of glitches. Food? Thought of eating makes me sick. Radio then. There's another entire block of people affected by the recent mass relocations initiated by the church. While their suspicious activities may have been kept quiet so far, the citywide scale of the operation made it impossible for the situation to remain hidden forever. Both church officials and the city council currently refuse to provide an official statement. If anyone has been directly affected or has any information, please contact us. Citizens of Huta Grobno deserve to know what's going on. I don't know if anyone knows what's going on. We're approaching the building from the anonymous resident report. It's that damn street again. We'll report after the job is done. 
They're probably after me. That's probably pretty bad. Yup. It's probably the church. Yup. Hey, it's Adam. Oh. Well, that's not great. I think shit is going down now. Shit's going down, yup. Oh, yeah, look, we got... What are those, like, worm... Kaijus? Oh my, yes. Hello. I think that's ending number two. Are you sure about your choices? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we made the right choice the first time around. And then there's this little PDF here that came along with it. Funeralopolis Last Days. There's this little PDF that came with it. Funeralopolis Lost Days. It is a personal world building project of Banana Jeff. There's additional lore, tidbits, and character descriptions for the game. A small indie game that serves as a prologue to the whole project. Okay, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on Funeralopolis. The city. Huta Grobno is a heavily industrialized independent city state piece of land that is that it was built on hasn't been claimed by anyone for a long time after the last military conflict as it was a biohazardous wasteland. No neighboring country was willing to take the costly responsibility of cleaning of a place commonly considered worthless. That is until large deposits of valuable resources were found underground. After that discovery, some private investors with the necessary resources began the long and grueling process of returning the land to a bit habitable status. The deposits must have been very valuable to consider the whole operation to be worth the costs. The catastrophe caused the city to be enshrouded in a dome which barrier is impassable to any living being, human or otherwise, keeping the supernatural phenomena away from the rest of the world. For now. Uh, what? I guess the cloud cover was a dome. The Overseer, why are you even here? You ask yourself every day, staring at the piles of documents laying around in your new office. Someone knocks at your door, and oh god, that's a fifth person this day. You have to find a form, file a report, all while the resident that came to bother you has been rambling about something completely unrelated for the past 30 minutes. That's a generous amount of your time de dedicated to, your, to their problems, so you think. So you kindly ask for their visit to end. Look on their face as otherwise, and they leave offended. Again. You're not exactly a people person. Meddling in other people's business is apparently your favorite pastime. Especially if it's somewhere high on the confidentiality spectrum. What can you do? You're naturally a curious individual, and look where it got you. Your fate after the catastrophe is... is kind of rubbed off, but it looks like determined for you? Mrs. and Mr. Climac, older couple in their late 60s, very kind and polite people, but deep down there was a hint of disappointment in you. You were nothing like the previous overseer, and they slowly started to lose their faith in you the longer you did your job. They try not to show it, though. They are both retired with too much time on their hands, so Mrs. Climac often helps around the building while her husband does some minor tasks in the factories. He can't stop but come back to the place where he worked his whole life. Look at what it cost him. Before going outside was unadvised due to the worsening air quality, their large family were frequent visitors here. 
Mrs. Climax is a very family-oriented person in general, and we used to ask you a series of very uncomfortable questions that honestly are none of her business. People living alone like you usually don't get assigned big apartments such as yours. Good thing that the job of the overseer has a lot of benefits. Their whereabouts after the catastrophe are unknown. Mrs. Begier. You feel like she smokes in the hallway to spite you, as you've asked her to stop many times now. Too bad she doesn't see any authority in you, even though you are the overseer here. She does hate you, and her husband wasn't any better. The resentment for you was there from the start. It's a long time to hold a grudge, you think. You know that amongst the applicants for the overseer position was also Mr. Begier, a man that was well qualified to take the responsibilities this job brings. Unfortunately for him, during the process of selecting the right candidate, a new mechanized voting system was being introduced, and the job was yours. It's shocking how machine illiterate the committee is, really. It's not like the Begiers were ruined by this outcome. Both of them have found high-paying jobs in the factories, on the management side, that is. After the quarantines in the factory started, the resentment towards you ramped up drastically. After all, if it weren't for your meddling, Mr. Begier would still be here. Oh, is he dead? Too bad you are too self-absorbed to see that. Fate of Mrs. Begier after the catastrophe is unknown. Fate of Mr. Be Mr. Begier was nothing good. Adam. Easygoing young man around the age of 20. He moved in just after you took the job of the overseer, which makes him the only resident that doesn't compare you to your predecessor makes talking to him more tolerable. That being said, he is very talkative, at least to your standards, and starts conversations every time he sees you, usually asking a lot of questions. He's a very curious individual, to the point of being nosy and taking interest in the matters which do not concern him, not that you are any better. Amidst the chaos that unraveled after the catastrophe, he found himself at the church's doorstep looking for something to hold on to in the failing city, falling city. He, like many other young people, willing and capable of help, was promptly conscripted into the church's ranks where his curiosity and eagerness to work were quickly recognized. Before the catastrophe, he was lost and purposeless, unsure what to do with himself in the future. He felt like the city didn't offer him many opportunities of self-realization. Whatever that was specifically, he didn't know, but it for sure wasn't a job in the factory. He feels guilty to say that standing amidst the city ruins, but he's glad the catastrophe happened. With a newfound purpose of studying the unknown and a place where he truly feels like he belongs, Adam is having the time of his life. And Mr. Nita. You don't know much about this person as he was already quite withdrawn from society when you took the job. All the residence documents that are available to you have shed some light at the secretive man's past. He was a worker at one of the factories sent home just as the quarantine started. Looking at the state that he's in right now, you wonder, how many other people have they missed during the screening? He moved into a single apartment after his spouse's death a few years ago, which is not unusual around here. The size of the apartment that's given to you by the city is proportional to the amount of people that will be moving in. That of course doesn't affect those who can buy their own apartments, but those people usually don't take residence in this neighborhood. His current state doesn't seem very healthy. He hasn't left his apartment for over a month now. Have you ever bothered to knock and check if everything's alright? Of course not. The fate of Mr. Nita after the catastrophe is abominable. He definitely turned. The Church. The Church of Faith and Enlightenment is a newly formed independent branch of the Catholic Church that's not yet officially recognized by the religious authorities. Because of this exclusion and overall distrust from the rest of the world, they saw the unclaimed land of the future city of Utah Grobno as the perfect place for their base of operations. As it is a part of their name, they seek enlightenment in the form of knowledge beyond what's already known. Some might even say that what they are researching is pseudoscience at best, or chasing delusions at worst. What a coincidence that they placed their HQ on a land that was struck by such abnormal and supernatural forces. After the catastrophe, the church proved themselves to be one of the few factions that stood strong against the invasion of the unknown. In the land of Funeralopolis, they are a force to be reckoned with. They do consider caring for the people of Huda Grobno as part of their mission, and most of the residential survivors' neighborhoods wouldn't be around if it wasn't for their efforts, which, in time, gradually diminished as they focused more and more on the unknown. The churchman's fate was adapting to their surroundings by any means necessary interest in my game. Cool. So yeah, we're going to have to try and keep an eye out on the Funeralopolis series going forward. 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, Three Randoms Games episode. Quick heads up on the Prison Alone one. Uh, apparently there was two endings, and the, set for the first ending, the bad ending, was the one we got where we died immediately. So that's fun. Uh, and the fairy was pretty cool. And uh, this one was a pretty neat little, I guess, prologue into the world. So for now, thank you to everyone for joining me. I hope you've been enjoying Spooktober so far. And I will see you all next time for something completely different. Bye-bye.